that was round one action here at Knoxville Dragway for the Southeast Gassers Association covering a gas right here on the Monday Morning Racer. I'm Lee Kraft. This is Chase Howard. Chase qualifying. It constituted you coming back to the pits and thrashing on this machine. What happened? Well, uh, the car left really good when I stuck it in second, uh, broke some faceplate and sliders. So uh, we had no second gear at all. We come back, we got the car up, put a transmission in it. We already got the other one fixed. So we got our spare in now. And uh, it seems like a sticky track pretty good. So we're gonna rock with it the rest of the day. Uh, and then f first round, we run through the clutch and high gear. So we've we think we got that fixed and we're going to try it again. You certainly have that opportunity to try again picking up the round one win. Now of interest out here, you've got a bona fide legend helping you the last couple of races. Scotty Cannon is out here. How's that? Absolutely. That man's a genius. Uh, a lot of credit is due to him. He's taught me a lot. He's actually taught me how to really race. Uh, that man is full of knowledge. Uh, he's done it over the years and I'm just lucky to have him you know, in my back pocket and come to the races with me and show me how it's done. Southeast Gassers Association action round two of AGAS is next right here on Monday Morning Racer. Christopher beat the 2023 champ Gabriel Burrow out here on Old Rocky Top at Knoxville. That was a tough round two matchup, Ben. Yes, it was, and I owed him that one for sure. He's up on me a good bit, I'm sure. So I, I'm fortunate to get by that one, yes. Uh, ben, the competition is all talking about how can they catch up with Leslie with just a handful of races remaining here in the season. What is it going to take? For him to go out early and but it's not looking so good. He, he's, he's, he's been a good competitor. He's been consistent all year. Um, he's looking to probably go to, you know, to the final here next if he gets by chase here. So we'll see how it goes. Ben Christopher's got Rob Walden in the semifinals.
Leslie Horn has just rolled into his pit here at Knoxville Dragway. It is a round win over Chase Howard, and apparently it's also a heck of an ET on that particular lap. Give me the breakdown, Leslie, of that run. I didn't hear nothing that you said, Lee, so anyway, the cars was going by. Ask me again. The run and the win. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, that was a tough one. I know Chase is always tough. This old engine, we've been working on it. It's, uh, we won the last two races, and I jerked the engine out and carried it to Fulton's. You know, everybody says, why you mess with it? It's running so good. But, I mean, we have to stay on top. And a gas, you got to make sure your stuff is well maintenanced and they fresh it up. And Stacy and Gene both told me, so they put a little stick of dynamite in there. I believe they might have. It's running good. So, and man, just what can you say about this record crowd here? It's been crazy. The, the owners of the track have told me earlier that they've had the biggest event here that they have had since they've owned the track. That's just huge. So, it's uh, cars doing good. Brian, Robert, uh, Bob, everybody's working on Logan, everybody's working on the car. We couldn't get down the track last night for nothing. It was like a fish out of water. Come to find out, we put the car on the scales this morning. We was way out in the front end. We don't know if hauling it on these nice, fancy roads that we ride on, beat it up in the trailer or what happened, but uh, Brian kept working on it and Bob kept working on it. And then when we got fortunate enough to have a buy run there in the second round, so we decided to throw something at it and try it because we was bogging a little bit when we was leaving. And what we did, it really, really brought it to life. So the whole thing's running. We just set the record again. We moved it from a 22 with a four to a 21 with a one. Um, so we're going to probably go out here in a minute. I hope we can even move it a little further because the old car is running good. Leslie Horn is number one in points. Leslie Horn was number one qualifier here. Leslie Horn is also the fastest man in Sega. here earlier in the year and just became another multi-time winner on 2024. You win here the second go around and you have certainly established yourself as the most dominant man in a gas competition in Sega. Four on the year, three in the row since London, Kentucky. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's been it's been a phenomenal ride here. Um, you know, old Knoxville, it, it really eluded us for a long time. I was talking to uh, Brian earlier. It took us a lot three years I think before we won something here at Knoxville we just couldn't ever put it together now it's becoming one of my favorite tracks to be at we've done one two or three here um, we've won two this year both of them this season um, it's and this has been phenomenal and the old car has done so good today um, the, the ram clutch car chick magnet um, Fulton Power, G-Force, I mean, you just can't thank all these people enough. And then they got my crew behind me, you know, Bob's always tinkering, trying to find power for me, whether it be valve adjustments or carburetor adjustments. And Brian's always t twisting and tinkering and watching the car and doing adjustments on shocks or suspension, whatever. And without them, there's no way I could even be here right now. There's no way possible because Friday night, we couldn't even get down the track. We didn't We didn't know what had happened. And we think it just something happened in the trailer while well, hauling these cars, you know, and you got them strapped down by the axles and these nice roads we ride on gets a little rough sometimes. Leslie Horn, your winner here in Knoxville for the second go around. The next race for Sega Action is down in Gulfport, Mississippi.